you know, one of the biggest things that we're not taught or we don't tell the younger generation that it's okay to feel and that it's okay to not be okay all of the time. And I think sometimes what can happen is we get so bottled up with our emotions and not know how to verbalize them or to express them in a specific way, right? Yeah. And I think in your case, it's the same or what I'm hearing, right? I'm not going to speak for yourself, but I'm saying what I'm hearing is that it seems like you had a lot of emotions going on inside you. And thankfully you had that one person that you could speak to, but if we had more people out there speaking about their, their struggles and not having it be a fearful place to speak about it, maybe it would make it a more accepting space for so many because you are so powerful in speaking so vulnerably about your story. If you could speak to yourself as, you know, the younger person that you were in that specific situation, what would you say to her? And what would you want to be able to say, um, what would have helped support her through those years? Yeah, I would have told myself all the fieriness that you write in those diaries and in your journals, say them out loud. You're not going to get suspended from school. You're not going to get grounded. Um, people need to hear how you truly feel. We don't want to see mm. the mask. We want to see the real you. And I really also wish I could have spoken to a good friend of mine, Steve, who um, committed suicide uh, when we were in our sophomore year of high school. And I did not know that he was suffering and obviously no one knew I was suffering. And so I really wish that if, uh, if I had, and I don't, I don't take blame for what happened, of course, but mm. I always wonder if I had been more vocal about how I was truly feeling that maybe that could have helped his journey as well, or maybe switch the, the trajectory of his life. I think it's really hard to, to, to see that you were silently suffering while then you kind of identify with somebody else who was silent, silently suffering as well, and didn't have the answers into how to verbalize what you were feeling at that point in your life. Do you feel like that was sort of a trigger or maybe a flare up for you when he did pass? It wasn't a trigger. Um, I honestly didn't know how to handle it because for the longest, I always thought it was just me. Like it's me, something's wrong with me. I didn't think that those levels of sadness were something that others could feel, I guess, get to. Um, And then also considering the fact that all my friends around me were happy and like funny like he was the most hilarious kid ever I just I just had no idea that a person who can be so funny can also be so sad or hurting so much and now Mm. as an adult I immediately pick up on funny people or people who are almost a little too expressive of their personality I immediately like I I'm I'm such a person who um I, I like to sit back and watch people. I'm an observer, right? And so when I'm, you know, meeting you for the first time and like, I see you like sort of doing a lot, mm. I immediately think something is going on. Like something is wrong. Like it doesn't necessarily have to be anything big, but like they're, they may be overcompensating for something. Um, and so I think a takeaway from him that I had was that like, just sort of observed people. I'm sorry. Can you see me? No, you, yeah. Okay, just to sort of observe people a little more and not always take what you're seeing um, at face value because there's a lot more layers behind it. And then even if we're like gonna like branch out into like a different topic, I feel like that same theme applies to social media today because we share our highlight reel. We always think everyone's good. Oh, she just got married or engaged. Like she's great. Or, oh, they just got a puppy. They're great. But like a picture does not summarize the book Mm -hmm. and it's I I live it you know being a model you sort of have to live this life where it's like everything's great I'm athletic I am you know happy but then you you know you turn off the ring light you close the camera and you're crying yourself to sleep because you're really sad because either your boyfriend broke up with you or like you're still going through depression from something else it's I always try to, you know, I I try a lot to be better at just sort of 
thinking about different aspects of a person's life and not necessarily what they're presenting to you. And I feel like a lot of people don't do that enough. And with like all the hate we see on social media, it's like people just want to spew hate for no reason. But it's like, how give people some grace simply because you truly do not know what they are going through. They're only showing mm-hmm. you what you they want you to see. But what about the other parts of their life that you haven't even, you know, learned about yet? 